Hello Unity fans, today we are going to set our map in motion, moving it around and rotating it in world space, while still allowing play on it to continue as normal. However, there's a catch. We will actually rotate and move everything around our world inversely to how our world would have moved, to give us the impression of our world moving, while we can keep its coordinates completely static in world space. Since the noise sampling in our terrain shaders are heavily dependent on world position, actually moving our map around in space causes the shaders to scroll through the noise texture, which we don't want. Also, a lot of our mechanics and methods are based on positions, and we'd like to keep the luxury of our world's coordinates remaining static. So, how do we make it look like it's moving? Well, pretty much the same way you experience life every day. In reality, everything in space is moving and rotating, often at mind-blowing speeds, including you. But you only perceive the combined effect of these movements from your point of view, which looks and feels completely static in your frame of reference, the spot on Earth that you're currently situated at. So, instead of moving and rotating our world within the universe in one direction, we move and rotate the entire universe around our world in the opposite direction. How do we find those directions? Well, our make-believe world is located on the back of a turtle. As this turtle swims through water or space, its body sways a bit and it moves forwards, up and down. All of this is captured in the turtle's animation. What we can do every frame is the following. Capture the new position and rotation of the turtle after one animation frame and move and rotate everything outside of its frame of reference with the inverse. Set the turtle's position and rotation back to what it was, keeping it static. The starting position and rotation of the turtle just has to be set up correctly in relation to the map, taking its size into consideration. In the editor, under the hex grid game object, which houses our map, we create an anchor point for the turtle. Whenever a new map is created, we calculate the midpoint of the map in world space and set the anchor point to it. We also determine the size of the turtle based on the map size. The turtle itself is a child of the anchor point, so it moves to wherever the anchor point is moved, placing it right underneath the map. The final game object is for everything in the world that isn't turtle or map. I've added a Milky Way, which is just a huge sphere with a material created from a large texture. Next are the objects that we want to move inversely as our turtle moves forward. I've just placed a bunch of rotating rocks in space to show the effect. But in practice, you'd probably have some kind of procedural generation of asteroids over time. We link our inverse movement script to this external world parent object and link up the body of the turtle, our main camera, the swivel of the camera, the movement scale in case we want to exaggerate or diminish the animation movement, and all of the objects we would like to move in relation to the turtle. The script itself is actually fairly simple. We store the starting rotation and forward direction of the turtle at startup. Then, each frame we call the late update method. We call this instead of update, since we need the animation frame to be completed before we apply the reverse movement. Next, we store how much the animation has changed the rotation and position, then move the turtle back to the anchor and give it its starting rotation again. Now we rotate and move our external world in the opposite direction. Next, we let each object move opposite to the turtle's forward direction to simulate how the turtle glides past them. The camera itself has not yet been adjusted, so if we run it like this, the camera position and rotation would be static, just like that of the turtle and the map. And we therefore see the static turtle and map the way it actually is in world space. And we see the rocks and Milky Way rotating and moving inversely. The last two statements are to allow us to see two other camera setup possibilities. In the first one, we rotate the camera 
but then adjust its swivel to always keep the turtle straight ahead in the center of the camera's view. You will notice that the Milky Way does not rotate anymore, since that rotation is included in the camera, but it is still moving from left to right to compensate for keeping the turtle in the center. In the second, we only rotate the camera and don't adjust the swivel to keep the turtle front and center. So the turtle is rotating and moving left to right, which in turn keeps the Milky Way just about perfectly static. And there we have it. Just like people believed thousands of years ago, the universe revolves around our little frame of reference. Furthermore, you could let these external objects move around in space as they please. For example, all the asteroids are just moving right in this scene. The inverse movement still works. If you haven't been focusing on the turtle and space only, you may have noticed some change in the textures of our map. In the next video, we'll consider this change and how to procedurally make the terrain a lot better looking using slight variations in texture. Please subscribe to continue on this journey with me. Goodbye.